One of the most incredible things about the Marvel Cinematic Universe is how they build the characters and make them evolve. This character evolution is associated with their role as the franchise grows, and with the changes in their suits and other aspects. You can look no further than Iron Man to see how every change in his suit was associated with his personality changing with time. While the Falcon has been a side character for most of his run, he's seen considerable growth in both these senses, thanks to newer technology associated with his awesome suit. With Captain America Brave New World set to bring a whole new depth to Falcon, giving him the time of Captain America. Let's look at all the changes the X-07 suit has seen so far. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you, let's begin. What is Falcon's wingsuit? Who built Falcon's wingsuit? Sam Wilson first appeared in the 2014 film Captain America Winter Soldier, and ever since then, he's become a significant part of the franchise. The movie is responsible for this because it managed to maintain a tone that allowed the wide variety of characters to shine by themselves. During his initial interactions with Steve Rogers, when Rogers gets used to the modern world, following the events of the Battle for New York, Sam proves his devotion to his country based on the time he spent in service. When explaining the kind of active duty he served, Cap assumed it concerned planes. But then, we're as surprised as Cap to see that Sam was a pararescue airman, who wore an experimental military wingsuit in service and went by the callsign Falcon. You must agree that seeing Falcon using his wings during Sitwell's interrogation was pretty badass. The wings were designed for a particular purpose, rescue missions in places where helicopters couldn't be used due to enemy RPGs. According to the MCU timeline, these suits known as the X-07 might have been created sometime around 2014, and then used by the Air National Guard. One of the various missions that Sam Wilson is known to have gone on under the National Guard service was the extraction of Khalil Kandil. But after Sam's wingman Riley got shot down, the entire project was shut down. Wilson's suit was locked away by the US military at Fort Meade, and Wilson was discharged from duty. Any other remaining suits were also destroyed just to ensure that these suits didn't fall into the wrong hands. Luckily, when Cap needed help, Sam Wilson was right there, so getting the X-07 back to Falcon for the fight against Hydra wasn't that difficult. How different is his wingsuit in the comics? The Marvel Cinematic Universe has taken a lot of liberties when adapting our favorite characters for the screen, but these liberties allowed us to see a version of that story that fits in with the world being built here, and also manages to set up major plot points for future events. If Marvel Comics were approached, Falcon's suit would have been designed by the Black Panther at the request of Captain America. The design in the comics looks relatively less complicated and lightweight, which plays an essential role in filling our imagination with the fact that they are used for flight. However, the technology is filled with various factors that make it amongst the best suits and weapons in the Marvel world. Upon closer observation, fans might have noticed that the wings in the movies have a red flare. This is a reference to the original wings in the comics that were mostly entirely red. Even Red Wing, who will become a part of Falcon's suit in the MCU in the future, was a real Falcon that used to accompany Wilson. This Falcon had a telepathic connection with Wilson because of the powers that Red Skull gave him. In the MCU, however, from the very beginning, we get a drone-like version of Red Wing, which fits the narrative perfectly. Red Wing's assistance to Wilson is somewhat similar to the aid it offers in the comics, apart from certain technological advances. Later on, Falcon managed to get many updates to the wings with the help of Black Panther, and these updates managed to play an integral part in making the character fit in with the other superheroes. At one point, the wings were so thin that you could see through them, and it was probably the most fabulous look for Falcon as he went around with his guns, and his wings gave him the appearance of an angel of sorts. In the MCU, Falcon's wings are made of vibranium, the same metal as both Cap's shield and Black Panther's suit, and this became an accurate detail in the comic book regarding the suit. However, the MCU version of Falcon was also quite lucky. Over the years, he got some significant updates for the X-07 suit, thanks to the MCU's own Edna Mode, Tony Stark. Different versions of the wingsuit. Throughout the MCU timeline, we've seen four major varieties of the X-07 suit, even though the last one didn't tamper much with the wings. The original suits are seen in Captain America Winter Soldier, and Falcon puts them to good use throughout the film, until Winter Soldier manages to destroy one of the wings. But Falcon still manages to prove himself without the wings, and helps Cap stop the Hydra attack. The next time we see Wilson, he's at the party at the Avengers Tower in Avengers Age of Ultron, and indicates he's on a mission, which might be regarding looking for Winter Soldier. But at the movie's end, we see him don a whole new suit, the second version of X-07, with some significant updates made by Stark. Having Stark as a friend is pure luck. Ask our friendly neighborhood superhero Spider-Man. 
Falcon became a part of the Avengers and donned the new suit with many exciting additions inspired by the comics, such as the armor plating, weapons, and even the red trim. The first time we see him use this suit is in Ant-Man when Scott Lang has to steal something from the Avengers compound. Even though Falcon is used to the suit, Ant-Man manages to shrink and sneak into the suit and mess with the circuitry, which leads to Falcon losing control over the suit. Finally, we see the suit in full action in Captain America Civil War, and right from the opening fight with Crossbone and his men, it becomes clear that Stark has changed things for Falcon. This fight is also where we get our first glance at Red Wing, Falcon's drone that was built by Stark, which he uses for surveillance. It even managed to take down some of the mercenaries after Black Widow. However, following the devastating events in Nigeria, Falcon's suit and all the other weapons of this team formed by Captain America are confiscated. Luckily, Sharon Carter came to help Cap's team by returning their guns before the battle at Leipzig Hale Airport, the real Civil War. One of the most fantastic things about this clash is that we get to witness Spider-Man, who got an upgraded suit thanks to Stark, go against Falcon, who also had the same guy upgrade his suit. In the fantastic face-off, Spider-Man knocks down both Winter Soldier and Falcon until the Red Wing throws Spidey off. Later, the suit would be confiscated again, when Falcon and the other people in Cap's small team are taken into custody aboard Raft. If you think about it, his suit gets confiscated quite a bit, and then a friendly figure manages to return it to him. Cap managed to free his friends this time, and the X-07 would be returned to Falcon again. While everyone got significant updates during the Infinity War, Falcon fought off Thanos' minions with his suit and was pretty good at his job. But Falcon ends up becoming one of the victims of Thanos' snap, and he, along with the X-07 suit, gets turned into dust. But Falcon makes his iconic return, on your left, during the final battle on Earth in Endgame, after Hulk brings everyone back. At the end of Endgame, Captain America hands over his mantle to Wilson, and even though we'll have a lot of debates about whether it should have been Bucky instead, the MCU takes it upon itself to prove that Sam Wilson is worthy of the title. Next, Falcon would appear with the Winter Soldier, doing contract work for the United States Air Force, and this time around, the suit was again significantly updated. The upgraded suit had more colors and even tried to maintain a look close to what we had seen in the comics. However, Wilson didn't accept the title of Captain America. Instead, it would go to John Walker, a highly decorated soldier in the U.S. Army. Here, we witness Sam explore if John Walker is a good option for the title. Eventually, Walker would fail to live up to the name. In the process of stopping him, Sam ends up losing the wings of the suit when Walker manages to tear them off. Yet, yeah, Sam lost the suit, but he ensured that he retrieved Cap's shield, which he held to the high value it deserved. Wilson handed the destroyed suit to Joaquin Torres, and it almost felt like he was heading for retirement. Bucky, who had some experience with Wakandan technology after they worked on his arm, asked the Wakandan design group to design a new X-07 suit for Sam. He delivered the suit to Sam, but Sam didn't put it on until he heard that the rebel group Flag Smashers intended to attack the Global Repatriation Council during the Patch Act voting. Thus, we got the fourth version of the suit, which is more fitting for the new Captain America with some critical similarities to Cap's suit and the star on the chest. The wings had a blue and white color scheme similar to the rest of the suit. By the end of his first mission in this rendition of the suit, it becomes clear that the suit plays an integral part in making him the Captain America that the world needs. In the upcoming Captain America film trailer, Wilson's suit doesn't seem to have any significant upgrades apart from the costume, which looks more similar to Cap's costume from The Winter Soldier. A close look into the wingsuit. Now that we have a fair idea of almost all the versions of the X-07 suit that have appeared in the MCU, let's examine the suit's technicalities. How did the mechanical wings work? One of the first questions that come to mind upon looking at the X-07 suit is how the wings work and why Tom Cruise hasn't used them. Tom Cruise might take his time working in these suits, but we can answer with a fair amount of certainty regarding the working mechanism of the wings in the suit. Much like most of the things in the MCU, there's an attention to detail that indicates a clear possibility that the fictional technology mentioned there is accurate. The wings of the X-07 primarily focus on facilitating flight after the thrust provided by the miniature jet engines manages to boost the individual airborne. Controls for these boosts and the wings themselves are attached to the wings for Falcon to operate. And there's another cybernetic link to the pair of goggles that Falcon wears. It's a very typical design for the Air Force, considering the suit even has a parachute that's dispatched when the individual is about to crash, because the wings are not working. Later, the Wakandans improved the suit by reducing the boosters to a single blue tinted thruster, which might have used magnetic propulsion similar to most Wakandan technology. What is the Red Wing in his suit? Red Wing is probably one of the most fantastic things about Falcon's suit. As mentioned, this device is inspired by the real Falcon that used to accompany Falcon in the comic books. The MCU managed to weaponize this by making it a drone-like feature of Falcon's suit. He can use it to gain intel on his enemy by sneaking into enemy territory and planning attacks accordingly. The Red Wing pays a significant role in the fight against Crossbone and his army, and it manages to cause a considerable amount of damage to the enemy other than providing intel. Red Wing is weaponized and has a 360 360-degree camera, providing a 
complete view of the opponent. Falcon can control it himself, and the visuals from the camera are directly fed into Falcon's goggles, which we'll explore separately. Even though Red Wing is a machine, Falcon treats it like his animal partner, as a clear tribute to the Red Wing from the comics. The movie hardly showed much of the Red Wing in action, but the series showed some of its other features when Falcon commands it with the phrase, Red Wing engage. While Stark might have worked on the concept in the MCU, whoever turned the real bird from the comics into this drone proved that the MCU knows what they're doing with the intellectual property. After the Flag Smashers broke the drone Stark had designed, the Wakandans managed to add a drone to the suit, and we're excited to see this new and upgraded Red Wing in some major action sequences in Captain America Brave New World. How do the combat goggles work? Now, the combat goggles look like something Falcon might be wearing to improve his vision as he flies, but there are some exciting upgrades on these goggles too. If you know Stark's visual interface inside his suit, you might be able to understand that Stark managed to give Falcon something quite similar. The goggles in the new suit provide a heads-up display that allows Falcon to see the furthest of the enemy attacks or weapons zoomed in so that he can track the incoming attack and prepare in advance. A clear example is when the goggles managed to track Ant-Man, even though Scott thinks being tiny might have prevented him from getting caught. Apart from the goggles, getting a live feed from Red Wing can provide him with real-time data. His Gauntlet Weapon The gauntlets on Falcon's hands also have some cool tech he can use against the enemy quickly. When Crossbones mercenaries ambushed him, Falcon used the wings to shield himself, and he used the gauntlet to get a feed on the attackers and launch an attack on them. The wings also received significant upgrades that changed how the suit benefited Falcon. Initially, the retractable wings primarily focused on providing flight, but later the upgrades added shielding capability for defense. These are not minor defense upgrades, because the wings withstand a lot of impact without giving in. It might look like what the Predator wore on his hand when he went up against Arnold Schwarzenegger, but it has some excellent tech that can do a lot more than give up with a self-destruct option. Other Weapons of Falcon Even though this makes up for many weapon systems for an individual, Falcon does wield other weapons to fight his enemies. Apart from the guns, he has excellent martial arts skills that he can use to fight off the Hydra soldiers. So Falcon again proves that the individuals in the Avengers are a lot more than weapons or the suits they wield. But let's examine the various guns Falcon carries and how the suit helps him keep them with him during battles. Falcon's Twin Guns The X-07 suits have holsters where Falcon keeps his twin guns that pop out quickly when he needs them through the mechanical aids in the suit. These guns, added with his expert marksmanship, managed to defeat many of Thanos' army during the Battle of Wakanda in Avengers Infinity War. He even used it against Thanos as a last resort to stop the Titan. But after the blip, Falcon stopped using these twin guns and some other weapons replaced them. M4A1 Carbine Being a soldier with expertise in basic training, he often uses the enemy's weapons after putting them down. During the fight against the Winter Soldier, Wilson put down one of the Hydra mercenaries and used his M4A1 Carbine to cover Natasha and Cap when they got ambushed. Interestingly, this won't be the only time we would see Wilson wield the M4A1 Carbine, as he managed to get another one from a security guard in Madripoor. But then he hardly used it. Captain America Shield and Uniform Based on the comics, Sam Wilson was given the title of Captain America by Cap himself, which managed to change things in the future in the MCU. Even though Falcon would need his time to prove that he can wield the shield with the expertise that Cap had, there's still some proof that we need to have to see that he deserves the mantle that the world's first Avenger once held. After the Wakandans developed the new X-07 suit, they added details to the uniform that were similar to the original design of Captain America's suit. The bits inspired by America's flag, with the star on the chest and the color theme, fixed to white and blue on both the wings and the uniform, make him appear like a version of Captain America. However, apart from that, the boots are designed to absorb shock, something Black Panther's suit also has, and the chest armor is bulletproof, apart from the entire body armor, still allowing him sufficient flexibility. When Sam was unsure about taking on the role of Captain America, the suit solidified his determination. Marvelous Verdict The Marvel Cinematic Universe will jump into Phase 5 with Captain America Brave New World, and many expectations are associated with this entry. Apart from establishing Sam Wilson as Captain America, the film should bring some new characters to the franchise. Now that the fans have spotted Tiamat Island in the trailer, the movie will also grow some of the plot points laid out throughout the phase of the franchise. However, considering that Sam Wilson will be Captain America, he must take on the role of the leader. It would be interesting to see how the MCU establishes this growth for a character that has mostly been a sidekick for a while. And if you like our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!